All right, let's get started here. So it says r equals 5 sine 2 theta. Going in, I'm um, hoping that everybody was expecting double this number of petals, so four petals of length 5, um, and then to find the tip of each petal. Um, to get double the number of petals, we just show in our work that we know that we get different ones from positive and negative r values. So since the maximum value is 5, um, we'll just go ahead and put plus or minus 5 in for r, and then solve for theta. So let's divide both sides by 5. And then at this point, we're unit circle ready, so I'll just go ahead and draw a little unit circle. I'll mark the places where the sign is either plus or minus 1. And then we're looking for 2 theta to basically equal pi over 2 plus pi n. To solve for theta, we're going to divide both sides by 2, and we get theta is equal to pi over 4 plus pi over 2 times n for all n from the set of the integers. Okay, so what does this tell us? So you could just start plugging in n values starting at zero um, and then just generate your angles where you'd have tips of petals. Um, so like if n was zero, for example, theta would be pi over four. So at pi over four, one, two, three, four, five, um, I would have a tip of a petal there. Um, let's see, if n was one, um, I could just have pi over four plus two pi over four, which would be three pi over four. So at three pi over four, I'd have a tip of a petal. Um, and then you can also think of this as just starting at pi over four and adding a fourth of the circle, um, multiples of the fourth of a circle. So um, you could also count the spokes, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and then fill it in. And what I'm looking for when you fill it in is that you have four petals and they don't like overlap with each other um, in here toward the center at all, but they do go through the pole between, you know, from one petal to the next. And they're supposed to be perfectly symmetric, but I never are. There we go. Um, and that's really what I was looking for. So um, points, notice the direction said show the algebraic analysis for finding the location of the tip of each petal for each rose curve. So I'm looking for work like this um, to give you, you know, part, part of the credit. So, um, so first thing, it's worth two points to have set um, your expression equal to plus or minus five. An equivalent to this would be if you don't have this five here, um, and you have plus or minus one here. So like if you skipped to this step, um, then uh, that would count. So plus two um, for that. Um, let's see, the next thing I'm looking for is for you to have um, two theta set equal to pi over two plus pi n. Um, let's see, point for that. When you solved for theta, pi over four in your answer is worth one point, and then plus pi over two n is worth another point. And then this really should be here. I don't know if I'll have enough points to like give it <laughs> any credit, any, any necessary credit uh, for this, but, but I do hope that you have a habit of writing that um, later on. You'll be glad you have that habit of kind of thinking that out just a little bit. Um, let's see, so that's five points, uh, yeah, five points so far, so five more points for this. So uh, let's see, we'll give you one point for just having a rose curve with four petals, even if you screwed up the other details. Um, and then let's see, oh, of length five. Okay, so one point for having that. Um, and then the other four points are for having these four points of accuracy. Um, so, uh, you know, one at, you know, five pi over four, one at five, three pi over four, one at five, five pi over four, and one at five, seven pi over four. There we go, and that's the 10 points for that one. Okay. Um, very similar, part B, um, there are two ways to do it. You could set R equal to positive four, which I prefer, 
and then solve for theta. Knowing when you're done, your angles are places where you should go toward those numbers four because you, that you asked for when r would be positive four. Now, if you set r equal to negative four, you could get the same picture that I'm going to get, but you do it by taking the angles you get and going away from them four because you asked for r to be negative four. So it's really just a matter of paying attention to what you asked for. Um, so basically, if you get kind of a mirror image of what I'm getting, then it's likely that you asked for maybe for R to be negative four, but then you treated it like you asked for R to be positive four. I hope that makes sense. Okay, so uh, since you have an odd number here, you'll get exactly three petals. Um, and so I'll set R equal to four. and then just solve for theta. So dividing by negative four would give me a negative one over here. This is unit circle ready, so I'm just gonna look for places where my cosine would have been negative one. Um, and then, so that would give me three theta would equal pi, and then I'd have to go all the way back around. And then divide both sides by three and you'd get theta would equal pi over three plus two pi over three n for all n from the set of the integers. There we go. Okay, um, now turning this into a graph, you know, you could just plug in different n values starting at zero and generating angles. So like if I let n be zero, I'd get pi over three. I'm gonna ask for when r would be four, so I should go toward it one, two, three, four because of the equation that I set up and solved. Um, and then if you were to um, plug one in for n, then you'd get pi over three plus two pi over three, which would be three pi over three or pi. So you're gonna go toward that one, two, three, four. And then if you let n be two, um, you'd end up with five pi over three. So toward five pi over three, what's here, four. There we go, and then fill it in. Okay, um, so let's see, points very similar to the way we scored the last one. Um, two points for setting up um, this equation. Again, you could either have a four or a negative four, but it would be incorrect to have a, like a plus or minus like we did over here, okay? So um, two points for having the problem set up correctly. If you skip this step and went straight to the next step, um, that would also suffice for that those two points, okay? Um, one point for having three theta set equal to pl pi plus two pi n in your work along the way. Um, one point for setting theta equal to having kind of this initial value here of pi over three. And then one point for showing that you're adding basically a third of the circle, which should make so much sense because we were expecting three petals. Um, anyway, so uh, this should be here. Pat yourself on the back if you have it. Add it in if you didn't. Um, it, it's worthwhile to kind of keep trying to remember to add things like that. Um, anyway, so that's five points so far. And then the last four points are um, one point for having a rose curve with three petals of length four, even if you have them in the wrong place. <laughs> one point for having that. Um, and then the last three points are for having the tips of the petals in the perfectly right places. So one for each. There we go, and that adds up to nine.